Hello everyone, so the Gaming here and welcome to War Thunder. We're in dev server and we're gonna check out the upcoming new stuff. First of all, we have the most interesting vehicle of this new update. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that. This guy have same cannon from the Italian R3, I believe. Yeah, exactly same fire rate. And bush lovers, good news, you can put bush on the window. Game allows it. This could change on the live server, of course. But yeah, you can hide it pretty well, actually. At 4.3, there's lots of paper German tanks. I mean, Panzer IV is a kill. We're gonna see Panthers only on full up there. But yeah, then you can switch to the planes. Looks silly, but with this weaponry, it will be effective. Also, it has an awesome speed. Look at this. It's actually 0.3 BR lower than the R3. Hmm. Uh, as in previous dev server video, I'm gonna skip copy paste and identical vehicles that are already in game next interesting vehicles will be probably the german triple tanks weasel boys yeah they can form a megazord together look at those now 9.0 seems like a bit overkill eh what do you think guys i mean these guys are really small Dude, look at this cannon 20 millimeters but on top of this hole it looks like a 30 or 40 that's insane <laughs> attention please this is an aa at 7.0 it has thermal vision and also armor piercing round 66 are you serious this will be the earliest tank that gets thermal in the war thunder i'm not interested in this one actually who cares about surface to air you're not gonna be able to fire this at the ground targets. So yeah, I'm not gonna use this for now. 1A2. This is an interesting failure as well. I think it will be overpowered. Vertical guidance, if you're gonna check it, minus 20. Look at the size, guys. Only bad thing, it can only carry 8 ATGMs. I think this can be the most effective tank in the game. Small profile, beautiful vertical guidance, and deadly penetration. It has thermal, also tow to be. Are you serious? How broken is that? So let's start with 7.0 weasel. No, actually, let's start with this one first. I don't want to even put bush at this. Like, look, even single one is enough. Okay, let's see how many we can pick. We have lots of options here. Yeah? Tow to be. Uh -huh, I think I'm gonna pick only this ones. Yeah, totally should be enough. Look at the speed. <laughs> Look at the machine gun. It is insane. Yeah, you better leave the spawn fast with this, otherwise you might get bullied. Teammates will just ram the shit out of you. Okay, I think this map is the perfect map for to demonstrate the vertical guidance i can scout as well what the hell am i even a light tank anti-tank missile carrier oh my god nothing happened the enemy has most of the strategic zones. come on what what oh what the hell was that? Oh, it cannot turn. It cannot turn 360. Okay, that's a bad news. Um, that tank is immortal. It reminds me how bad Toad to be is in this game. Nothing happens. I don't know what's happening. Oh, 
Finally. Wasted so many ATGM guys. I might switch uh, or at least bring some of these because this can pan 800 millimeters. Toto B is really random in this game. But yeah, as you can see, I didn't expose my hole. Enemies still didn't see me. This is broken. We can spot, we have thermals. What else do you need, eh? I mean, broken for early game at least, because eight missiles, unfortunately, not enough. Depends on the map, this thing can get lots of early kills. If it's a urban map, this guy obviously will suck. But if there's lots of hills, this little guy will be king of the campers. It has everything that makes a tank OP. The only thing it leaks, ammunition. <laughs> and leak of ammunition is a really good way to balance an OP tank, in my opinion. Because yeah, look, I just arrived here, I only have two ATGMs left. Don't know even what to say. Hey, we have a hit. Looks extremely derpy. Guys, but I remind you, what's also make this vehicles unique, all of them have thermal visions. And at 7.0, it could be really useful. And we have only... How much penetration we have? 66. Let's see if we can kill this. Oh. I can't pan. Would you look at that? Also no stabilizer yet. Like, not enough. Not enough penetration. Maybe only for ass shots. Man. Yep. And also breaking the barrels. Barrel is out. Sneaky boy. Something like that. 7.0 thermal vision. I don't know. And probably this one can scout as well. Compared to the last update, this is just golden. Trying to get in another wheeled vehicle. Unfortunately, you guys didn't see VMEA or PTL tests because I couldn't perform very well with those tanks in the realistic battles. Unfortunately, uh, they're leaking horsepower and also protection. Now this guy have a bit sloped armor. I hope it will save at least from 50 cal. I'm not sure though, it's still really thin. It's actually weird how many armor plates there is. Look, one, two, three. With this plate, combined 32. It has similar turret from the Sprut 2S, 55 millimeters of armor. There's lots of plate combinations here. I don't know what's Chinese thinking with this type of armoring. But yeah, still it's a paper target. I'm actually quite interested uh, which one is more survivable, Rotkenfagen or this one. Let's see, it has thermal, that's a good stuff. Uh, also ATGM and same penetration as in Rotkenfagen. Plane busting shell. Oh, I didn't check the vertical guidance. Minus four, come on. Reverse speed is nine, that's another oof. Oh, slow barrel lift spit checks out. Oh my god, that's really slow. Can smoke two times. Crew is separated as well. I guess it can take the first hits and survive, but yeah. Guys, if you're not gonna see video about this vehicle, know that uh, the recording session was a failure. But the yeah, only ground realistic match will show how effective this dude is. We also have top machine gun. That's also missing in the Rotkenfagen. The Germans getting new jet premium 9.7 of PR for AA missiles. A7E, new Mavericks maybe. Let's see. AMG 62A Vol I guided. Oh, this is guided bomb. Okay. You know what happened at MiG 27. Guided bombs are a bit useless. Chunky bombs. Why it's not symmetrical? 
bad news for me i guess uh, news brute <laughs> but this time it has thermals also extra machine gun here obviously thermal vision will probably increase its performance so yeah sweden sweden receiving new auto cannon boy to 8.3 so does it have same penetration as this one 170 versus 143 mm -hmm. it has thermal vision no atgm if it goes to 7.3 leopards yeah if it plays against leopards might have a decent gameplay but yeah i'm not sure another wigan i'm just gonna show the loadout for the plane enthusiasts not really interested in it and also japanese receiving new missile i believe or guided bump I, i'm not sure there's lots of uh, ships they're adding. Unfortunately, I'm not a big fan of them yet. Until they add Yamato or something. Also, almost forget about the new Dardo. BR of 10.0. More like a downgrade. Missing thermal vision. We have 9mm more cannon penetration. Fire rate, 2 times less. But we're receiving tow to a ATGM. That was all of the interesting vehicles. And now to complete the video, as you know, they added terrain deformation. I already tested uh, some maps with the P8. The crater is not that big, so there's nothing to be afraid of. The deepest crater can be 1.5 meters long, so almost tall as your tank. Lots of tanks receiving bulldozer blades. Uh, Russians are quite popular with that. All of the top tier MBTs have a bulldozer blade. It's a researchable thing. I think the most op uh, one will be the T90 because it has a really durable turret. The most durable one. And now guys, the new feature that will combine Minecraft and War Thunder communities. Now you can dig the ground. Yep. These are the P8. Crates, as you can see. People just chilling, digging, trying to find diamonds. Oh, I think I found some. Should be in this rock. Nom 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 nom. Minecraft community. As you can see, terrain deformation does not work on every surface. So these are the bomb crates, as you can see, <laughs> really derpy. Uh, I need to assign a key to my bulldozer. Controls. If you type N, entrenching, enable, disabled, this one. Okay, so there it is, the big moment. Yes. <laughs> Farming simulator. There is a limit. How higher can it go?
That's weird. How deep is the trench you made? Like, you can hide your hole. Check this out. Immortal mode activated. The eight bomb crate. Yeah, quite deep. Basically, all this Russian tanks have bulldozer blades and. Also in Britain there is Centurion Avre. Also recently we reached 30,000 subscribers. Here is a little fan art to you. <laughs> As you can see you can actually write or draw something. So that means people will draw swastikas around, anime girls, to the images. Yeah like lots of creative people will jump into this. There will be art servers. Like people not gonna fight each other there. They're gonna draw images. I'll tell you that. You'll probably see tons of fan art in the social media made by other players. The most hilarious thing that can happen with this probably will be like imagine esports. Narrators are flying around with free cam. Suddenly they see that whole team is drawing swastikas and it's all in live stream. Imagine what can happen. <laughs> what drama that can happen. How many people <laughs> can get banned because of this? I mean, this even affects the content creators as well. Imagine you recorded a good match and in editing process, you suddenly realize two players there typed some subliminal messages <laughs> on top of the ground. Now you're gonna have to blur the sections of the video so you'll not get demonetized. This is some serious shit, guys, because writings you made on the ground with the bulldozer blade, they're permanent. They're not disappearing. I think this new update have a lot of meme potential. The trenches you make can stop dart rounds, so I guess it will be useful. Uh, how effective they are, uh, you'll probably see it in the update. But yeah guys, that was it. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.